Okay, this video I'm going to show real quickly on an old alpha. Had a problem with the bandpass didn't work only on one setting. It's on uh, 20 meters here. Okay, just for reference, the small tick marks here is manual. You use a tune and load to peak the power. The bandpass is you turn it to the fat mark and you can select the side band, uh, sub band, CW and phone and that uses a fixed set of capacitors inside here so you don't have to do any tune and load and gets it within probably 90 percent of the power something like that anyways it worked in all these different positions except this position it was dead so long story short I went through took off the side of the unit when everything was discharged and this capacitor here the variable cap right here this tine on this thing was actually touching so I bent it back with the jackknife and it all works and so when you put it in manual mode all these settings on the uh, selector goes through and uses the tune and the load but when it's in the band pass it's going through and using these capacitors that have a variable cap and sometimes a fix that it's adjusted to get it pretty much on the money for a nominal load. So what I did is with the side off I went through and measured the capacitance with a, a LCR meter. Got 51 picofarads, 19, 48, 23, 305, 100, 334, and I couldn't measure this one. It was shorted out. And then when I manually inspected it, I found that it was shorted out. And once I bent back the tine, it was 155 picofarads. And now it'll work here on the band pass. So you can go through here and have this off. Key it up. Got 10 watts. Put it in sideband mode over here I've got up to about 100 and 150 watts say. if I go over here and key this down you can go through and tweak this for max power only got 10 watts carrier going in got AM but I've got the uh, mic gain set to zero so it's just a pure carrier grade, grade currents hardly anything here's the high voltage 3 kilovolts 2 kilovolts forward power that pegs a meter So with about I gotta adjust the input power a little bit. Got ten watts coming in, got about four hundred coming out. And that's into the dummy load here. It's right there. I don't want to ruin the now if I go connect it up to the band pass, it's a little bit less because it might be that that was never adjusted right. A little bit less power. This changes the high voltage too, so it's a little bit less power there. If you go look at the high voltage here, reduces down the high end. Takes a while to adjust down. Okay, I've had this off for a good while. Got the cover screws all undone. And it'd be very careful because high voltage on this, you want to make sure everything's been off for a good while, let everything discharge down. These are the tune and load caps for the 
bandpass here. That's the setting that's on the wide marker. So in this particular unit, the 14 megahertz, 20 meter band, the variable cap that was right. There's one of them down there that the... Okay. Let's see if I can get this focused. Right down into here. This has all been off for a good while. The One of these tines on the variable cap was mushed together touching the uh, stator to the rotor. 